Hi, I'm Dr. Roland Roberts, founder of Transform Africa. Transform Africa's primary initiative is to solve complex problems and challenges. Uh, a lot of the issues that are faced in the world, and many of the African nations particularly, stem from systematic problems and challenges that have been passed on from generation to generation. So Transform Africa solves these problems in a couple of ways. We really focus on education and clean water. Now, that's not how we started. That wasn't our original intention. It's kind of how we have been led. Uh, for example, the first time or I was over to help entrepreneurs specifically, uh, we were helping entrepreneurs, over 700 of them from seven countries. And while we were, while I was there, uh, in one particular day, two ladies coming from different villages, uh, one had traveled over eight hours by foot to be able to visit with me. And when she got in front of me, she was there to ask for maybe 100 USD or 200 USD to help grow her business and, and, and expand. And instead, she started weeping. And she said, what we really need is I need you to come help the women in my village. I need you to come help the women. She said, we don't have clean water. We only take one or two showers a year. That's one shower every five to six months. And she said, we have to use the same sanitary pad for a whole year at a time. Not for a day, not for a month, the whole year. And you can't wash in between because then you'll get bacteria and that causes death. And later on that afternoon, another lady from the opposite part of Africa had come in to see me, cr literally started crying and said almost the exact same story. And so I started thinking, we, why is this being put on me? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to solve this problem, but it is what we do. So I started looking for different solutions and how do we actually solve the problem because I only want to solve a problem one time. I don't want to do what works in this village and then go do what works in that village. And many people have made errors in how they approach solving problems in Africa, uh, such as digging wells and so forth, because those require maintenance. And unless you're going to continue giving, it's not the right business model. So to solve these problems, you can't just have the humanitarian side. You have to have the business side. You have to have the sustainability side. And so that's what started us on the path to the water pods uh, that we have now, the Transform Africa water pods. And they are uh, just very powerful uh, containers that uh, provides up to 10,000 liters of clean drinking water every day uh, for decades. And, these, and then we have maintenance and ongoing things that are inherently built in. So we've been able to systematically solve the problem once and for all for access to clean water. Now, there are costs involved, the business model uh, and the revenue sharing and so forth. We have that uh, all in a sustainable model. Uh, and we have the support of governments and of individuals and of organizations because we aren't just coming in to implement our solution. These are, uh, we have partners on the ground that lead millions of people uh, across the continent that we have partnered with and really that have partnered with us to bring this solution to their people. And so, as you know, Africa is the last bastion of economic uh, returns, high economic returns of any continent in the world. It is the last untapped continent economically. Uh, and the greatest economic engine on earth that is powering economies and creating monstrous uh, e economies and GDP is entrepreneurship. So entrepreneurship is the primary curriculum that we teach in Roland College. We have our School of Entrepreneurship, the School of Divinity, and the School of Literacy. The School of Literacy is amazing. It takes people who, even young people, uh, youth, uh, four, five, six uh years of age, uh, the boy child or girl child, or adults, maybe immigrants. And we are able to help them read and write English in six months at an advanced high school level. Uh, that's amazing. Normally, language schools are intense and they take years, and uh, but we have a unique way of teaching. And so education and clean water have been our primary initiatives. I think this is important to note because 70% of the world's youth, as defined by 
the uh, United Nations uh, of youth, 16 to 34, will reside on the continent of Africa by the year 2030. That means, as you know, if you have six, uh, 70% of, uh, in any form, you have a supermajority. So a supermajority of the world's youth will reside on this one continent. And if you want to change the direction of a country, you change the curriculum. You get the heart of the child and you can set any country on course uh, that you choose based on what you teach and based on what you provide to youth. So we are in a very critical window of opportunity to reach the youth of Africa. Uh, I was reading a report just, just yesterday about uh, by 2050 that 25% uh, of the population in the entire world will be uh, on the continent of Africa. It is poised for extreme and massive unprecedented growth that no one in our lifetime has seen. To that end, many people ask how they can get involved. How can we realize some of these economic returns. We know that that is where uh, the last untapped economic continent, how do we tap into said uh, unrealized returns so far? Uh, and they know that this is the time. They know the time is now. The whole world will wake up to it 10 years from now. But by then, the, the, the big returns have been realized. And, 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 and some of us front runners, we've been there for years doing it. But the time in the last several years is just now being ripe to start to realize some of these significant economic returns. So given the partners that we have across the continent in Africa, given the many followers that, that we have that wants to know how to invest and where to invest uh, their money, especially in uncertain chaotic times when markets fluctuate heavily, where do we put our money? Where do we give? Where do we donate that it has social impact, that there's a return, that there is uh, uh, something meaningful and purposeful that's happening with the donation or with the investment or the gift? And, and so we've been asked and tasked by many people over the years to, to come up with something, do something. But I just resisted until I knew that it was right, until I knew it was either the right product or the right service or the right model. And it was just uh, in discussion with some of our partners in Africa. And the challenge was that was presented to us was we have thousands of people, hundreds of leaders and thousands of people that are looking for ways to generate income. They, we, they, they need income for sustenance. They need uh, income so that they can save for, for retirement. So we have some people who have income that just need a retirement plan uh, or retirement savings. And then there's others who are actually trying to invest, uh, trying to grow, but they don't have access to the same markets that we have uh, perhaps in the United States or in other parts of the world. And so what are they to do? How can they take the principles and the education that they know, but how can they apply that? And that is what gave birth to the water mission, TWM. Uh, the water mission and the objective of the water mission is one thing. It, it, we're going to fulfill Transform Africa's mission as it relates to clean water and providing clean water to, to ten, uh, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and yea, millions of people all over the world over the next few years, okay, that we're, we're going to fulfill that mission. But what we've done is create a giving project, a giving movement, a cause that is for people because someone dies from lack of clean water every 14.5 seconds around the world. It used to be uh, uh, several minutes and then it, kept, it, it keeps getting shorter and shorter because more people die from lack of clean water every every 14.5 uh, uh, seconds. So it is a, it, the problem is only getting worse and worse. So we had to address the problem. We're addressing the problem, but now I thought, how do we bring more people into the solution? And the answer lied in the water mission. So here's how you can get involved. Here's how you can participate in both saving lives, in providing clean water for people all over the world, 
concentrated first on the continent of Africa and then abroad. Even the animals in Africa, a lot of the, the struggle is obviously, number one, saving human life. But a lot of them struggle to save their animal life because that's what provides the in income uh, for them whatsoever. So whether it's it's chickens and, and, they're, and they're selling eggs or they're cows and that's where they get their milk uh, or their beef, uh, they, they're trying to keep their animals alive because they know that's going to end up keeping them alive uh, as well. So there's a number of, 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 us, of challenges in keeping that circle of life uh, uh, going. So... We invite you to participate in the water mission. Uh, be a part of it. Have, have a, an, a social impact and make a tremendous difference. By Really, we view the, the investing side, the giving side, as a game. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. We're not trying to give you legal advice or accounting advice or financial advice. This is just a, a, a straight-up, investor model of, hey, here's how you can get involved, and here's how you can get a return, and here's how you can make a difference. That's it. Uh, and, and, and our manufacturer uh, that uh, makes the pods, these are proprietary to Transform Africa. These aren't things that can be duplicated uh, in, in any form, the, the technology. Uh, it's the only thing like it in the world. Um, and we manufacture them in the United States, and then we ship them uh, by boat to to wherever they go, the nearest port in Africa um, at the time. And so we invite you to be a part of this life-saving mission. There's no better way I know for you, no matter where you are in the world, the United States, India, Japan, Europe, China, uh, South America, Canada, wherever you are, whatever part of the world you're in, this is a great way to be a part of of a great economic movement on the continent of Africa to provide life-giving water to solve a problem that the world has yet to solve. And it's because of you, because of your investment, your support uh, in this program. It is directly going to providing water. And then that water is benefiting the person and the giver. And that's what I think is the best case scenario when people who, who, participate in TWM and people who benefit from TWM, uh, everybody wins in that scenario. So we invite you to be a part. Go to thewatermission.com, thewatermission.com. Thank you for being a part of this journey. We have uh, regional meetings. We'll have international meetings uh, and conferences where you can be a part of, where you'll get to hear the stories and meet the meet other members. Uh, we have our, our mission community at uh, online that you're able to be a part of and see what's happening. We actually have uh, pod teams, uh, pod mission teams, so that each each uh, in, uh, person, that participant uh, is in a particular pod can interact with everybody else on their pod. So you're able to talk amongst yourselves and post pictures, uh, maybe maybe from people that are there on the ground that, are, that run the machine and the pod for us. Uh, you're able to interact and see pictures of your actual pod. We actually have cameras in them. Um, our partners, it's on their property all throughout Africa is where they will be. And um, and so we, we do all the maintenance and everything remotely here. Uh, and then we have trained people on the ground in Africa year round uh, that are also there to assist and uh, that oversee the machines. So we're just excited that you're a part of this journey, uh, that you're partnering on this life-saving, life-giving mission. And we invite you to go with us to Africa. Uh, we have preview trips every year. So reach out to our office, uh, transform-africa.com. Find out when the next preview trip is. Uh, for 2022, it'll be in July. You're welcome uh, to join us, and we look forward to having you.